all the clips. Would this qualify as one of those ASMR videos? Have you guys seen those? <laughs> I need to stop. In today's video, I'm reviewing different types of clips, how to use them, and my absolute number one favorite for side mount. Vamanos. I don't, oh, that could have been bad. Bolt snaps. I honestly did not think much about these for many, many years of my dive career. That is primarily because I was diving in warm water and I have little hands. So I literally used this type of clip all the time, no problems whatsoever. But in moving into cold water diving, using gloves, especially now that I'm really trying to get myself set up for dry suit diving, I know that this is not going to cut it. The tools that we use in scuba diving are meant to make our lives easier. And that's what we're gonna cover today with our clips. Let's start with the basics, material. The most common materials that you'll see for these types of clips are marine grade stainless steel and brass. Oh, that kind of lined up right with my eyeball. Check that out. ADD. These are horrible. I really, really hate the brass clips. They corrode very, very easily, especially if you are lazy like me and you don't always clean your gear the best with fresh water after dives. I, I'm doing better now, but I really have been bad in the past. These corrode like crazy. They're awful. Don't, don't use them. Stainless steel is the way to go and you really want to have ones that close on a spring. There are some that look kind of like carabiners and they don't have that same spring action. It's just kind of like a lever. I don't have one to show you here because they're garbage and I don't own any of them, <laughs> but don't, don't get those. You want to have these kinds of spring loaded clips. Types of bolt snaps. We have the double ended. So there you can see there's two ends, both of them with the string loaded closure, right? And single. These are going to be used for different types of equipment. Typically you use these double ended ones for things like spools, right? Clipping those off, clipping them into a pocket. I personally use these ones as my butt pouch clip on side mount. So just like that and then this clips onto my harness. The downside to these is that obviously both ends open so there is a chance that you could lose the gear that you are clipping but with the spring action it's pretty rare that it'll happen especially if you're taking good care of your gear making sure that they get rinsed and that you actually flush these spring areas with fresh water to keep them nice and springy. Pretty much everything else can be clipped off with a single ended bolt snap. These single ended bolt snaps have different sizes. For the most part, the actual clip is the same, although you can see here there is a slight difference. Uh, but the main difference is going to be in the size of the eye. You have this kind of small size. This one, to be honest, is a little bit odd. I think it's a brand. This came with my razor harness, so it's a little bit of an odd size. There's usually a small, medium, and a large. Large. Like I said before, these small ones are really hard to manipulate if you're wearing any type of glove or if you have larger hands. Now that I'm diving with gloves, I would never go any smaller than this. So the medium sized eyelet would be great for any type of accessory that you're attaching to your harness, your BCD. It could be great for your long hose as well. I think I currently still have one of these small ones on my long hose for side mount and it's a pain in the butt. I will be adjusting that during my dive dry road trip. Make sure you stick around for my future videos because during my dive dry road trip, I'm going to do some pool sessions where I'm actually breaking down the gear, the skills, all kinds of stuff that have to do with dry suit, side mount. I really want to do some rescue stuff as well if I can find a willing participant. 
to help me demonstrate. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see those videos pop up in your feed. And then finally, the largest size eyelet, which is quite big. These are really great for things that you need more control over. Even with dry gloves, you can stick a finger through here and use the clip. Super useful. I actually just got these and I'll show you which specific clip this is because I love this clip. I'm obsessed with this clip. I just got these for my side mount tanks because I'm finding that I've just struggled so much with getting my hands on these clips. Like I've been just slipping and slipping and slipping, right? So that's what I wanted to talk about next is the shape. You can see that these clips, most of them have this really lovely and beautiful rounded side. But if you've ever been diving with thick gloves and you're cold, especially, so you're kind of, uh, 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 your dexterity just isn't as uh, solid as it would normally be. These are so hard to hold on to. And my friend, John, the scuba panda, showed me the X Deep. Let's see if I can get that in there. This is the X Deep Clip. I gotta say, I didn't want to like these because they are so expensive. I mean, I think it was $20, $25 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. So like, it's a lot of money for like a piece of metal for your equipment. But I gotta say, the combination of this large eyelet and this ridge, just gives me full control of the tanks. It's incredible. I can grab it. I can bring the tank out in front of me, put it back on, no problem. They really have made a difference. I went and tested it out. I tried it out on only one tank because I wasn't going to buy two of these unless I really loved them. So I tried it out on one and I really enjoyed the feeling of it. So I got the second one. I'm going to get that soon. It just really made a difference. This is a really easy way to connect a bolt snap just by looping it through the eyelet, right? And then using the correct knot, you can attach it to the piece of equipment that you're hoping to clip. But on this one, I used this really thick lanyard. I haven't cut this down or burned the lanyard yet because I still need to actually make sure that this is the right length. I used a thicker lanyard on this because this is the piece of material that is connecting my tank to my harness. And so I need something that can hold a bit of weight, especially now that I'm doing shore diving. They do hang on those points for a little bit before I get into the water. So it's important to have a nice strong piece of material. When you're using these smaller bolt snaps for your accessories, you definitely don't need that. You can use standard line like what you would find on a spool and attach that to the eyelet, make a knot, attach it to your piece of equipment. With any of these, you wanna make sure that the knot is good, it's secure, and that you burn the ends of the line. And you know the drill. Like this video, leave your questions in the comments below, subscribe for weekly content, and get even more from the Asul Scuba community by joining me on Patreon. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, love you, bye. I wish I actually knew how to juggle. My OCD is not gonna allow this to... <laughs> right tank has to be on the right side. Left tank on the left side. Am I the only one that gets bothered by those types of things? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to do this. I am going to break something by doing this. It's oddly soothing. Listen to that. Our marine grade. Why do I want to keep saying sterling silver? <laughs> Stainless steel. My God. Like I don't even buy silver jewelry. I don't know why that. Anyway, marine grade. <laughs> Stainless steel. Okay.